So now on to our dinosaur of the day, Eoraptor, which was a request from Jill via Patreon. Thank you, Jill, and just wanted to quickly shout out thanks to all of our patrons on Patreon. And if you enjoy listening to I Know Dino and you'd like to support our podcast, then please visit our page at patreon.com slash I Know Dino. So Eoraptor, the name means Dawn Plunderer, and the Eo part refers to Dawn because it's one of the earliest dinosaurs, and the raptor refers to its grasping hand. It's not actually a raptor. It's not related to Velociraptor or Dromaeosaurs. The only thing they have in common is having raptor in the name. And this species is Eoraptor lunensis. So the species name means moon inhabitant, and that name is based on it being found in the Valle de la Luna, which looks like a lunar landscape. And this is in Argentina. So Eoraptor is one of the earliest dinosaurs. It lived in the Jurassic in western Gondwana, which is now Argentina. It was first described in 1993 and at the time was thought to be the earliest known dinosaur. And this is partly because of its more primitive features. But it kind of lost that title. In 2013, there was a new dinosaur that was formally described, Neosaurus from Tanzania, that's believed to be 12 million years older than Eoraptor. Eoraptor's bones were first found in 1991 by Ricardo Martinez, a paleontologist from the University of San Juan, and it took 12 months to collect the holotype. Then it was prepared at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, and it was first put on display in Chicago, and then it was sent back to San Juan, Argentina, where it went on display at the Museum of Natural Sciences there. So what happened was Paul Serrano and Alfredo Moneta, who's from the National University of San Juan, they both led a team to search for fossils in Argentina back in 1991. They went for five weeks without finding anything, and then Ricardo Martinez happened to spot an eoraptor tooth. And they started digging a little bit, and there ended up also being a skull and a mostly complete skeleton. So Paul Serrano and colleagues, including Forrester Rogers and Moneta, named eoraptor in 1993. When it was first described, they thought it was a theropod based on its hand and a few other features, but then there was this debate over whether it was actually a basal saurischian or a basal theropod. In 1997, Phil Curry said it was closer to a saurischian and ornithischian. And then in 2011, there was a team that found it to be a basal sauropodomorph. So in 2013, Serrano and others re-described Eoraptor and said that it was a basal sauropodomorph. So what changed? Well, again, it, originally it was considered to be a theropod because it has this narrow build and it was bipedal. But then another dinosaur that lived in the same area at the same time was discovered in 2011. This is Eodromaeus. And this discovery convinced scientists that Eoraptor was a sauropodomorph because it has some of its teeth suited for eating plants. It actually has some teeth also suited for eating meat, which is why there was this confusion. But Eodromaeus had only sharp teeth, and it's considered to be one of or the earliest theropod. And Eoraptor, which was more ambiguous, was a theropod or saurischian or whatever, they thought, okay, instead of being the common ancestor for all dinosaurs, Eodromaeus is one of the earliest theropods, and Eoraptor is a common ancestor for other types of dinosaurs. So, they lived at the same time. Eodromaeus is a carnivorous theropod, Eoraptor is an omnivore. They looked similar, though, and were very similar in size, and all early dinosaurs kind of looked similar. And then, you know, eventually they developed into sauropods, theropods, and ornithischians such as stegosaurs and chylosaurs and ceratopsians. So Paul Serrano said, quote, What can I say? I was young when somebody asked him about how he mistook your raptor for a theropod. And he also said that, quote, If you were transported back 230 million years and you turned your head as they ran by, you would be really hard-pressed to tell them apart. The differences at the root of the dinosaur family tree are really subtle, end quote. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. A lot of this taxonomy stuff is pretty difficult to tell, especially when you're working with incomplete skeletons, that you could make that kind of a mistake, especially with it having a lot of behavior that we associate with theropods a lot of the time. Yeah, and if that's one of the only dinosaurs you know from that area in that time, too. Yeah. So 
Eoraptor was pretty small. It was 3.3 feet or 1 meters long, and it was light. It was ground-dwelling. Again, it was bipedal. It weighed about 22 pounds or 10 kilograms, and it was a fast runner. It was probably omnivorous, definitely not the apex predator of its habitat, in addition to, of course, Eodromaeus, which is the theropod. It lived among many archosaurs, and the Triassic, this is kind of the beginning of dinosaurs, and there's still a bunch of other kinds of fierce animals that are much bigger. There's also another dinosaur in the area called Herrerasaurus. A lot of Herrerasaurus bones have been found, and it was a predator that may have eaten Eoraptor. So Eoraptor was probably middle or bottom of the food chain. <laughs> Well, not bottom if he was eating somebody else. Oh, that's true. Towards the bottom. Eoraptor had a kink in its upper jaw. Again, it was omnivorous. What's interesting is some of its teeth were leaf-shaped, which were meant for eating plants, and some of its teeth were curved and saw-edged, but it didn't have this sliding joint in its lower jaw that would have allowed it to hold large prey in its mouth. So it would have gone for small prey, like insects or lizards. It had five digits on each hand, and the three longest digits on each of its hands had large claws. This is probably for catching prey. And the fourth and fifth digits were too small to be used for hunting or for anything, really. Hmm. So it could have used its claws and its teeth to tear apart its prey. Also interesting is that later dinosaurs tended to have fewer digits or fingers. For example, T-Rex only had two. Yeah, we don't talk too much about dinosaurs having five-fingered hands. Mm-hmm. Eoraptor's forelimbs were half the length of its hind limbs, and it had really large eye sockets, at least the ones scientists have found. So some scientists think that the bones were actually of juveniles. Other evidence of this is some of the skull bones that they found were not fully fused together. Eoraptor lived in a volcanically active floodplain with forests. It was warm and humid and had strong seasonal rains. If you'd like, you can see Eoraptor in the documentary Dinosaur Revolution, where an Eoraptor saves a female Eoraptor from a Saurosuchus, and then they start a family. Not, not to spoil things. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. 